from the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Jacob Riley. Well, we finally made it to the weekend and we're seeing those warmer temperatures stick around across the South Plains. It may feel hot to you, but actually today we've been right around average for this time of year. Out across the region right now, notice we have a couple of showers that we're still dealing with. Had a lot more activity in eastern New Mexico earlier, but right now we're really beginning to see that kind of fall apart. Last night up in Briscoe County had reports of almost five to six inches of rainfall there in that same exact area just to the northwest of Silverton dealing with a little shower right now back over towards the north of Paducah. They're seeing some as well, but again in northern Lee County, uh, southern Roosevelt County here still seeing a couple of sprinkles and really for the remainder of the evening probably going to remain to see uh, those isolated rain showers across the area. But again, Silverton, you're starting to see a little bit of that outflow, possibly a couple of sprinkles moving into your area as well. Out in level land right now, we're still seeing some of those clouds and those clouds are from those falling uh, storms, those storms that are falling apart rather in Lee County, New Mexico. So again, looks like we're not going to see a whole lot more rainfall tonight and future cast is doing a really good job showing where those showers and storms are right now. As we go forward through time, notice all the activity in our northeastern counties falls apart, just leaving us with a couple of isolated showers in eastern New Mexico overnight tonight, possibly keeping a couple of those showers around, especially to the north and west of Lubbock. Uh, but again, for the most part, we should remain relatively dry overnight tonight. Now, tomorrow is Independence Day, the 4th of July, and now the entire South Plains viewing area is under a general thunderstorm risk for tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours. So again, that could put a little bit of a damper on your afternoon and evening plans tomorrow. It's still going to be relatively warm though, a high of 97 degrees, a few degrees above average under a partly cloudy sky. We're going to keep that rain chance at around 20%, so bumping it up a little bit from what we saw yesterday. And here's what we could see on the radar. Notice some more showers and storms by around 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Move in from the northwest, pushing to the east across our area. As we take a look at tomorrow night around 11 o'clock, Probably some people popping fireworks at that point in time could be dealing with a couple of showers out there on that falling apart though Saturday night into Sunday morning. So with all of that being said, we want to remind you tomorrow we are relatively dry across the region. It is going to be warm as well with those highs in the middle and upper 90s. Please stay hydrated if you're going to be outside. Be cautious when lighting those fireworks with the drier conditions. We have plenty of fuel for wildfires, so just be mindful of where you're setting those firecrackers off at. Also, be extra cautious if you plan on doing any outdoor burning and always look in your vehicle before you lock your doors. Make sure everyone is out. And again, here are those dry conditions. Notice areas in the red is where we have levels of extreme drought across the region. On into Sunday, we have another chance for some showers and storms, and this is what radar is predicting. Notice a couple of showers moving through the area between 5 and 10 p.m., looking a little bit more widespread for now. We'll keep an eye on that and let you know if that appears to change. But, Jamie, you've gone ahead and won yourself a rain gauge. If you'd like to enter for a chance to win, head on over to our website at everythinglobic.com. You can find more details there. Tonight, lows falling into the middle and upper 60s to the north, lower 70s to the south and east. Those winds calm and skies mostly clear over the next seven days. We'll continue to warm as we head into next week with those rain chances coming to an end. Well above average temperatures are expected to return by the end of next week. We have more local news coming up right after this break.